Today, we see many conversations around the topic of freedom of speech. Now, who is raising this issue? This comes after a self-proclaimed comedian made several derogatory comments aimed at laughing at the subject matter for fun. Unfortunately, in this instant, the comedy was at the expense of Buddhism. Now, soon afterwards, the Colombo liberal idiot class was up in arms on their social swift to showcase how their freedom of expression has been curtailed. And later on in the program, I'll dive deep into that subject with Minister of Justice, Vijay, uh, Dr. Vijayadasa Rajabaksa. It is really funny how this selective outrage by the aforementioned idiot class is being displayed. It doesn't help us to keep bringing up the past, but when it's a matter of erudition, we should certainly take the opportunity at it. Now, last year, remember how much of a ruckus the idiot class made concerning the economy. They just wanted one thing, and that was their thing. They said, this is the way to solve the economic crisis. They said, IMF is the only way. They said, money printing by Cabra raised inflation. But now, money printing by Nandala? No hair inflation. When there was any effort to give a different point of view back then, these individuals worked hard to shut them down. When it's against them, then violating freedom of expression is something that they will happily entertain and even go to the lower level of explaining why that type of thinking should be eradicated. That's right. It should be eradicated. That's what they say. Different viewpoints? Nope. Now, these individuals who scream freedom of expression don't even understand the true meaning of it. All they understand is garbage fed by their masters to get their agendas up and running. And for all the clowns of the Colombo liberal idiot class, whether you like it or not, Sri Lanka is a Buddhist nation. Our constitution has given Buddhism the foremost place and laws have been drawn accordingly to ensure its citizens do not violate its rightful place. And when it is convenient for you, you do not get the right to violate it, whether you like it or not. Every citizen of this nation should and must abide by the law of the land. Now, if you disagree and need to change that, well, there are options. You can migrate to a country where they serve your dish of freedom of speech. Or do it using your voice at the polls. Not how it was displayed last year by most of you on July 9th. We'll be right back.